In this video, I'll show you how you can try out and prototype your C Sharp code ideas using the excellent C Sharp REPL tool for the .NET CLI. Let's get started. Now, C Sharp REPL is a .NET 5 SDK tool. So, of course, you'll need the .NET 5 SDK installed. Once that's done, you can run the command .NET tool install dash G for global and then C Sharp REPL. This will install the tool globally so that you can run it from anywhere on the command line. Once you've done that, head into your console and run the command C Sharp REPL. We'll get a nice welcome message and now you can write some C-sharp in your console. So let's start with some basic addition and multiplication. Let's create some variables var x equals 5, var y equals 10. And now we get an IntelliSense, which is really cool. So we can type console and then we can do dot and then we have our normal IntelliSense. We can see the methods available on console. We can tab to right line and then we can do x times y and it will print out the product from the console. And that's great and all very fun and nice for a demo. However, we want to go more complicated than that. So let's create something a bit more complex. Let's create a list of strings. Now, if we just type names and then use control and enter, we can inspect the object. We can add items to the list. And finally, what's really cool is we can then loop over it so we can create multi-line statements. So let's use a for each loop. And we'll get IntelliSense again, so we can do var name in names. If I enter here, C Sharp REPL knows I haven't finished writing my statement because it's an unfinished line. So I can just do console write line name, enter again because the statement isn't closed, hit enter, and then it iterates over the loop and prints out to the console. Now, all this is great, but what if we want to get a bit more complex? What if, for example, someone's given us some JSON and we want to try deserializing it into a .NET object without writing a console application to try it out? So let's use the Newtonsoft JSON package to deserialize some JSON on our command line. We'll use the hash r command and then NuGet to specify our source. And then we want the Newtonsoft.json package. We can add a using statement and we get our IntelliSense. Now let's create some JSON and we can deserialize it straight into a dynamic object. We can inspect the object using control enter and we can print out to the console properties on the object. Now a really useful thing about C Sharp REPL is it doesn't just talk to NuGet packages. We can actually use it with our own local projects as well. So here in VS Code, I'm creating a very simple class library that just takes a name and gives back a greeting that we can print out to the console. So let's head into our terminal and use C Sharp REPL. Now, instead of referring to a NuGet package, I can refer to my CS project file using R and then greeter module.cs project. C Sharp REPL will build the project. Now I can add my using statement using greeter module and I can write out greeter get greeting and then my name which is Chris Roberts. The C Sharp REPL has built my project and it's referred to it just as it would do any other framework library or NuGet package. So there's a tool that I find really useful when trying out code ideas or bits and pieces that I've pasted from Stack Overflow. So head on over to the project GitHub, which I will link down below. Give the project some love, give it a star, try it out. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do drop a like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. We make videos all about .NET. JavaScript, TypeScript, SharePoint Framework, that kind of thing. So if that's your bag, then please do subscribe and tap that bell icon so you never miss out on a video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy coding, and I'll see you next time.